very carefully and follow it 100 percent okay okay right. now let's start out what do you mean by reading and comprehension ankur what is reading and comprehension to read some given passage and, and comprehend it to understand the meaning what's what what it uh, what it means to say. right so to read the given passage and comprehend it means understand what it means to say brilliant now on gman at one point in time we are coming across reading comprehension but before that let me ask you this how many of you have a have a reading habit uncle do you no. have a reading habit no no i don't have okay, you don't read at all you don't read emails yes that's uh, okay okay but uh, that you do <laughs> okay <laughs> right karan uh, i don't have a reading habit you don't have a reading habit yes yeah. yeah. ravi okay ravi uh newspapers magazines on sometimes uh, novels but newspapers magazines sometimes novels uh, let me ask you another question in that case <coughs> would you like to read something uh, uh like this <coughs> but anyway that that example i'll give you uh, once i tell you at what point in time we are actually coming across reading comprehension what point in time we are coming across reading comprehension we have completed one hour uh, for the awa and then there was the 10 minutes break and we have completed uh 75 minutes for math and uh, we have uh, <coughs> another 10 minutes break and then we start verbal and before we hit the reading comprehension we have at least gone through few sentence correction and critical reasoning questions which means there is for another 10 minutes over there so totally we are talking about around 2 or 35 minutes tell me at this point in time is your moral and energy level remain the same as you entered the examination hall no huh no. definitely not right your moral would have come down significantly because you don't know how you performed in that and you don't know how the couple of questions under sentence correction critical reasoning went through So you are kind of demotivated as well. The morales are low, and your energy levels have also come down significantly. And that's the point in time when you are actually starting the reading comprehension. Okay. Now, at this point in time, no one either you have a habit of reading, and if you don't have a habit of reading at all, that's going to add the complexity. Uh, the really true lesson. The kind of topic that you are going to hit over here is, let's say. Mm, uh, uh, how does how does rats pick and ants and insects release their excretory organs in order to maintain the internal metabolic food system in the body in the water deprived areas? Did you read something like this, Ravi, and enjoy it? Say, wow, what's up? Let's say. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> right. So this is the kind of passage we are going to get on the GMAT, the first passage, right? and and the moment we read this the first sentence you know your mind is already off and then you start reading the further passage normally what happens boom when the moment you look at the passage oh my god what the hell is this but yes is there on reading comprehension so you wanted to read you wanted to be extra cautious you want to read and comprehend the passage uh, first so you start reading the first sentence when you start reading the first sentence uh, uh you are trying to understand it reading very carefully uh, uh to see uh, uh what's the sentence all about but suddenly you realize the sentence is not ending at all sentence is going one and a half a mile it was happening and where is the sentence ending now you focus on to see where the sentence ends actually right it's it's such a such a long sentence over there well you you are so you have you have seen that the sentence has ended wow that's great now let me read that to understand it now so again you are reading that particular sentence to understand what is saying you are reading and reading and rereading the particular sentence to understand what is saying yes you understood a little bit and then you move on to the second sentence when you are doing the second sentence exactly the same thing happens where the second sentence is not ending at all it has gone to uh 